Hola a todos los estudiantes de la clase de Español 111. En este vídeo vamos a repasar el verbo tener y vamos a hablar de la edad. En this video we will look at the conjugation of the verb tener, which means to have, and we will also see how to use this verb to talk about age, answering the question, ¿Cuántos años tienes? Meaning, how old are you? First of all, let's look at the conjugation of the verb tener. To the left, as you may remember from the video about the verb ser, you have the pronouns. And to the right, you have the conjugation with the different forms of the verb tener. Remember that depending on who you're talking about, you're going to use one form or you're going to use another. So here are the forms of the verb tener. Tengo, tienes, tiene, tenemos, tienen. Look at the spelling. The yo form has an e. Tengo. The nosotros o nosotras form, the we form, also has an e. Tenemos. But all the others have i e. Tienes, tiene. Tienen. Por favor, repitan conmigo. Please repeat after me. Tengo. Tienes. Tiene. Tenemos. Tienen. Remember that the verb tener means to have, but we use it for other things as well. Let's look at what different things, different purposes, we use the verb tener in Spanish. First of all, to tell someone's age. So instead of saying how old we are, in Spanish we talk about how many years we have. And so we use the verb tener. Here's the question. ¿Cuántos años tienes? And when you hear that question, you know that they are asking about your age. So your response should be, Tengo, and then the amount of years, followed by the word años, which means years. So, ¿Cuántos años tienes? Tengo 30 años. I am 30 years old. You always have to use the word años at the end of this sentence. Tengo 30 años. I am 30. Now, if your age is 21, instead of using the number 21, because what follows is a masculine noun, años, then you have to drop the O. And instead of 21, you will say 21. Tengo 21 años. If you were 31, the same rule would apply. You would say tengo 31 años. You wouldn't use the O. Same thing for 41, 51, 61, and so on. You could also ask the age of other people. For example, ¿Cuántos años tiene tu padre? I am asking about your father, so you cannot answer with tengo. The answer would be, mi padre tiene 59 años. My father is, in that case, 59 years old. Remember to use the word años at the end. Same thing with a question about your mother. ¿Cuántos años tiene tu madre? Your answer is not about yourself, so you cannot use tengo. It is about somebody else. So your answer should be, Mi madre tiene 41 años. Look at that, it's 41, so you have to drop the O. Mi madre tiene 41 años. So we use this verb to tell age, but we also use it very commonly to talk about what 
we have or what we own. And you have some examples there. Tengo un carro nuevo. I have a new car. That's something you have, something you own. Marta tiene una casa muy grande. Marta has a very big house. Again, that's something that she has or something that she owns. Mi esposa y yo tenemos un perro. My wife and I, that's a we, so tenemos, we have a dog. So whenever you have or you own something, you can use the verb tener to express that possession or ownership. And then, and we will work with this a little bit more in the next few weeks, we have the expression tener que plus an action. And that has a meaning of obligation, of something that we have to do. Tener que plus an action is something that we have to do. Here are some examples. Perhaps you can understand it better by looking at an example. Tengo que estudiar español. Estudiar means to study. So, tengo que estudiar español significa I have to study Spanish. Mi padre tiene que trabajar el fin de semana. Trabajar means to work. So, tiene que trabajar means that he has to work on the weekend, el fin de semana. Finalmente, mis amigos tienen que limpiar la casa. Limpiar means to clean. So, tienen que limpiar significa they have to clean their house. So, whenever you have the verb tener with que and then an action, the meaning is that of obligation of something that you have to do. So, for now, three things that we use the verb tener to have for are the following. To tell age, to talk about what we have or what we own, and then in the expression tener que plus an action, meaning obligation, something that you have to do. Depending on who you're talking about, you're going to use one form of the verb tener, or another. So go back and review the conjugation of the verb tener and then try to answer the question about your age. ¿Cuántos años tienes? Muchas gracias. Se despide el profesor Antón García Fernández.